our burning wheel campaign. Um, before we jump right into it as usual and introduce my wonderful players and characters, um, I did want to mention that we're doing Dungeon World character creation tomorrow at 7, right Logan? Correct. Cool. And I Central time. Central time. Um, yes. And I am so excited to play. <laughs> I can't wait. I need to decide on a class, though. Like it's, it's Abby so has a character fun. for every single class. <laughs> <laughs> I have a good amount of characters. I want to play yeah. them all. If Logan let me play like eight different characters, I would just have multiple personality <laughs> disorder and be. Because <laughs> <laughs> they're all great. Um, Let's start with one. Yeah. <laughs> So that's going to be tomorrow, um, and we're all very excited, so I just wanted to mention that really quick. Other than that, my name's Abby, I'm the Game Master, and we can jump into it with John introducing Alphonse. Hey, I'm John, I'm playing Alphonse. Alphonse's beliefs are that he needs to find an ally among the uh, staff or faculty of the school. Um, belief number two, that Captain Logan laughed when I brought up Sergeant John being involved with the disappearances. and. Uh, I really need to make sure that Captain or Sergeant John is actually like doing stuff and reporting up and being important. I, uh, that belief is so well written, John. Kudos. Oh, oh, thank you. And belief number three that Bertrand super not cool overstepped his station last round, and I need to try to convince him to maintain some semblance of separation of church and state and school. Um, oh, jeez. <laughs> We'll see how that goes. Uh, his instincts are that when a fight breaks out, Alphonse is first to the fray. Um, if anyone gets kind of suspicious or super mistrustful about his ambitions, just in general, he will go on a fairly long-winded speech about how important it is being like a good student or a good citizen or a good follower of whatever deity uh, is and uh, try to throw people off like that. And finally, he despises disorder, and he gets upset when things aren't how they were originally planned or how they should be or if they're messy, and it can range from being a little flustered to being pretty bitchy. So we're going to play that up a lot, I think, this round. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, some of his traits are he's smart and geometric. He's a rabble rouser, um, unsuccessful usually, gifted and practical, passionate, and has a forced smile and lavish taste because he's from the city. And finally, he is also evasive about what happened to the headmistress for the whole adventure. Yep. And yeah. Oh, I got rid of your little thing. Hold on, let me pop it out again. My little thing. Oh, right. There it is. No, I just have all your character sheets like <laughs> minimized. So that's fine. Logan, you want to introduce Venus? Boy, do I. Venus has three new beliefs this week. So, <laughs> whoa. <laughs> this is a new Big man. Change. Taking a 180. New man. 180. More extreme. Ramped it up. So, Alphonse has a connection to the church. I will determine how I can best use this relationship. Typical. Yep. Uh, Victoro has crossed me, and I will find a way to destroy him in my mother's eyes. And then Mia seems to be behind a troubling deed. I will confront her and determine what her motive is. Uh, instincts are the same, so when confront confronted with my falsehoods, I double down and deflect. I will never forget even the slightest of slights, and I will never turn down a cup of wine or other pleasure. Traits, forced smile, lavish taste. Uh, he's passionate, gifted, academite, dangerous, misunderstood, and evasive about the headmistress. And then hard-hearted, yeah, which I've never once used. Yeah. What does that do? Um, I, if I, someone's trying to weasel out of a commitment. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, can I shut that down? No excuses, basically. <laughs> yep. I like it. Okay. Maybe maybe that'll come up sometime. Cool. Oh, I got rid of yours, too. I'm got to get used to this. Okay. And then come on. Mia. <laughs> so... I'm Sean, and I have the honor of being the most wanted witch in the West. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'll be playing Mia, of course, who uh, has run into some trouble, so I have changed some of her beliefs a little bit. Uh, the first one is still the same. 
Marcella's the most powerful figure at the school, and I need to find out if I can trust her. The second, though, is that my magic has hurt so many people, I must find a way to help them. Lastly, my sister Lissa is working against me, and I need to get her back on my side. Then, instincts are the same. I memorize my dreams and visions at the expense of other memories. I help the helpless at any cost. And I sing to myself in moments of quiet and soothe myself in stress. As far as trait, um, the important ones are probably devout, uh, hoarding, disturbed, a little crazy, vitriolic, and dreamer. Uh, yeah, that covers me. Yeah, so we were talking a little bit before we went live, and it seems like you all have a lot of beliefs that involve convincing people of something, so we might have to dive into Duel of Wits sooner rather than later, which none of us have done, but we will walk through it together and it'll be fine if we reach that point. But if at any time we reach a point where I call for a single role and you guys feel like it needs to be something bigger. Just let me know, um, and I'll do the same. I was going to say, we can do linked tests, too, potentially, if yeah. we want it to be a more dramatic or add more roles in, yep. even without the complications of Duel of Wits. Yep. I'm nervous about Duel of Wits, but also excited, because it does same. seem fun. <laughs> yeah. So. They just take a long time. Like it's a, You're basically committing to an hour of role-playing yeah. and talking I, and, and discussing, I, which is fine. It's just a lot. Yeah, I think there's a way to simplify them a little bit, too, for the first times you run them. Mm -hmm. um, but we'll figure that out later. Yep. Cool. Um, oh, I forgot to ask you guys to kind of describe where everybody was at the end of last session and, like, what happened to them. So, John, if you want to go, and we'll just go really quick through you guys. Yeah, absolutely. Do you want, like, the whole session recap or, like, oh, just, like just where highlights. we left off? Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so Alphonse went to the Temple of Athena to supposedly go worship with Bertrand, and Bertrand suggested going off to uh, the Temple of Asclepius. So... Uh, Alphonse quickly made his offering and then tagged along. Uh, when he got to the Temple of Asclepius, he saw Mia being grappled with by some unknown woman. So he cast Strength of the Bear and pulled them apart. Uh, and then all hell broke loose because Mia ran off, guards started chasing her, priests started doing weird stuff. And Alphonse was just kind of like, what, what's going on? Um, he follows Bertrand back to the guard tower and is... Um, kind of pressured into guaranteeing that he would help find Mia uh, as long as the as long as Bertrand would promise that the guard would bring her in unharmed if they found her first. Um, at the tower, Alphonse looked for Sergeant John to try to talk to about the whole situation since it seemed to be motivated by the disappearances. Sergeant John wasn't there, but Captain Logan sure was, and he scoffed at Alphonse's connection to Sergeant John. Um, so at that point, uh, Alphonse went out to go search for Mia and, uh, when Bertrand suggested he take a member of the guard with him, Alphonse quickly threw out, I want Captain Logan. And after a brief stint in the kitchen, they took off toward the North Ward. Cool. Yes. So Venus was... MIA for half of last week or two weeks ago. Um, but when he came back, he was at his mother's banquet where he encountered Victoro. And they had a little tiff because Venus had discovered that Victoro was behind the letter that Ezra had received. Um, and then throughout all of that, just talking to people, he learned about some catastrophe that happened in the North Ward. Somehow connected it back to Mia. Um, and then that's about what he did. He was just information gathering for the most of last session. And then he went back to Delfino's. Yep. Cool. And then Mia, what did you do last week? Yeah. So uh, last week... Uh... <laughs> After having defended herself against a zombie, 
which unfortunately involved an explosive use of green flame. She was almost arrested, managed to escape uh, and get back to the school before uh, her sister came by and uh, tried to get her or got her to go to the Temple of Asclepius uh, as a sort of bonding exercise uh there mia got spooked by seeing the guard who almost arrested her as well as bertrand and uh ran away once again barely escaping tried to bring alphonse with her but alphonse is not moving fast enough uh and then made it back to the school once again looking for august confused and worried about what was going on why people were after her uh there um, August showed her that she had accidentally set fire to a significant portion of the city. Not, I, I don't know if we actually decided exactly how much. Part of a quarter, at least. So uh, a lot of people got hurt and killed and died uh, because of her. So she kind of dealt with the emotional shock of that and has gone into hiding. And August said that he would take care of her. Mia's had a rough day. <laughs> <laughs> that is accurate. Um, so I think we might do, we talked about this too, we might do a little bit of like a time jump, just a little one. Um, but before we do that, I do think that they're like, Alphonse, immediately you go with Captain Logan. So I think we need to sort out where you take him first. So where sure. would you, like, if he's looking to you to lead the way to go find Mia, like, where would you go? Um, I think when we left off last time, I was like, let's go see this scene of a supposed crime. Mm-hmm. And that is, yeah, I'm going to say, I think we'll start walking north and I'll be like, well, you supposedly know so much more about what's going on. Why don't you lead the way? Yep. Cool. So he leads the way to 21st and Birch or whatever it was. <laughs> Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> can't even keep track now after <laughs> it's been a month venus has uh <laughs> interfered with the the naming yeah i know the southern white elm <laughs> um, <laughs> the southern white elm yeah 21st and birch is right okay so he leads you there um and you arrive at the scene and the area is pretty quiet it's maybe like early to mid-afternoon Mm -hmm. and there don't seem to be like people bustling around the area um there does there is a significant guard force like just around trying to keep people like out of the area um Mm -hmm. and when captain logan arrives he just kind of like walks past them um Mm -hmm. and leads you to like where the main explosion happened okay cool um Oh no, keep going. Okay. And so you like you recognize it's where you were investigating. Um mm-hmm. or supposed to investigate. And yeah. the explosion I think like the direct explosion maybe took out like the main cabin house area. Um plus like some explosive damage to other bits and then the fire mm-hmm. spread to maybe like a dozen close to a dozen other houses um gotcha but most of the bodies are cleared out by now so you can't tell like how many people died in the fires Mm -hmm. okay um yeah i until he stops me i am walking basically toward the scene of the explosion um and i am searching for literally anything because at this point we don't know Alphonse doesn't know why Mia would have done that if Mia did that. Mm-hmm. Sure. Uh, yeah. Where's your character sheet? Oh, it's right here. Let's see. What stats do you got? <laughs> all of the stats. All of the stats. Only some of the stats. Really not all of them. <laughs> really not that many. Um, let's just do perception ob three. Okay. Perception. 
1,500. Are you looking for specifically for like evidence of Mia being there or? I think firstly, I want to investigate to see if I can tell that the fire actually was magical, like they're alleging. Okay, sure. Um, although with an explosion. Of note, <laughs> it was green flame. Yeah. Okay. So, All right. Um, I guess in that case, uh, what else would I be looking for? I guess I'd be looking for why. Why would she have done that? Okay, like, yeah, what would be great. there? So Still ob three? Yep. Okay. I can't remember. Can I use fate beforehand? Um, no. Personas no. beforehand, fates after. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, oh. <laughs> one success for the three so um sad. and it wasn't even there are no sixes there so mm -mm. Cool. that was pretty rough yeah that's, rough. that's real sad yeah so don't like, laugh most logan of the like rubble and bodies and everything has already been cleared out by the city guard in the mm -hmm. what like half a day maybe six hours since the actual explosion happened Mm -hmm. um, my timeline might be messed up too, but we'll say that they, because I think it was like that's pretty much yeah. I think it was evening when it happened originally, so maybe it's getting kind of late. Yeah, okay. I think so yeah, so maybe it's like seven or eight at night now. Um, okay, and it maybe it's been four hours, and that would put it, I think, in the right time period. Um, yeah, so everything's been cleared out and you don't find anything like super of note okay so let me um, perception for captain logan and see if he finds anything. okay Ooh. three Ooh, that could be good or bad Might find something, but he doesn't say anything to you. I figured. <laughs> um, it's a scene. okay. So you uh, and him are just like rummaging through the rubble, and meet up in like twenty minutes looking or thirty minutes looking, and conclude that you didn't find anything. Mm -hmm. Um, Captain As, Logan, do you know? Go ahead. Do you know where they've taken the bodies? Where would they take the bodies? There's Surely a temple to Hades. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they would probably try and do yeah. burial rites. Yeah. But if we're doing Grecian, it's usually I think. Would it not be Hades? Not sure. It. We can say in our universe it would be Hades. Okay. Yeah. I was trying to think if it was cremation or burial. But... Oh yeah, I have no idea. Yeah, I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. it's not my... Yeah. So he um, says that they would be taken to the Temple of Hades for, um, like, investigation of cause of death and then burial rites. Mm -hmm. um, I will tell him that because I can't tell what the cause of the fire would have been, like, obviously I would have heard it was green, I would have seen the site of the explosion and figured this is probably not mundane action um i would say i i don't understand why this would have happened and if this actually were mia's work i think she would feel bad badly enough that she would be trying to find the temple of hades to uh say farewell to these souls herself as a tone make a persuasion His will is three, so that's the ob. Oh boy. Ugh, two successes. No sixes either. Wow, Man, that is I can't win today. Okay, what does he say? So he says, well, it sounds like we should head to the Temple of Hades if that's where you think she'll be. 
my audio completely cut out for that. I'm sorry. Your internet is bad tonight, John. It, it's really rough. Um, where does where does he think she'll be? At the Temple of Hades. If that's he says, if that's where you think she'll be, then that's where you should go. Where will you go? I'll follow you. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's where I go. <laughs> so you march on up to the Temple of Hades, um, and as you enter the doors, you see like maybe 20 to 25 bodies like out on like stretchers and covered with fabric okay um i will like are there is there an actual guard presence here there are maybe like a guard is standing watch outside but there don't seem to be guards inside nor priests inside interesting is that typical or would i think that's typical would i know how many people tend to support hades efforts let's see you want to open like religion wise yeah i would love to open religion wise okay and it'll be uh Ob one. It'll be ob one. Okay. Religion wise, and that would be through. Oh my goodness. Okay. Okay. You said ob one? Yep. Cool. Yay! Four successes Whoa. for two failures. There I are am. Your sixes. <laughs> There are theirs. There they are, those jerks. <laughs> um, that's fine. So, yeah, what do I know? What do I think? Yeah, so, I mean, it doesn't seem... Usually you would think with this many bodies around, there would be somebody working, I think. But okay. the, the, like, the Hades worshiper presence is pretty minimal. But there should okay. be somebody right. here. That's the gist. Okay, so it's a little light, especially given that there's a tragedy. Yep. And it's night. Yep. Um, Captain Logan, why why is this place empty, and why do you only have one guard on guard? I'm not sure. It was not my Bertrand? prerogative to put that guard there. That's for the higher. -up. Well, I think Bertrand would be very displeased with anyone in the guard that he knows if he only saw one guard here for these souls. Well, it's a good thing then that Bertrand does not work for the guard. I guess so. I'd like to investigate these bodies. Yeah, go ahead and do... Wait, that's what I tell him. Oh, wait. I tell him I want to bless the bodies, but I want to investigate the bodies. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> We're going to get there eventually. It's yep. been a long day. So you're going to pretend like you're like casting a spell or doing some kind of like ritual on them and blessing them, but actually you want to look at them and like yes. try to poke and prod and see how they died. Yeah, I guess I'm not going to be secretive. If... <laughs> oh my goodness! Hold on. No, I guess I. No, I wouldn't be secretive about it. I'd be like, I'm going to investigate them, but also bless them. Yeah. Um, He's like, because right, like, go ahead. We need answers, but also they need blessings. So. I agree. You march on over. Um, the bodies, <laughs> appear, like, they're all very burnt. Mm -hmm. um, and there's, like, it, it seems like a couple of the families from like the closest houses were hit really hard so there's like families there and mm -hmm. then maybe like as you start investigating them and take your time to do that um you see a couple of like injured people kind of going between connecting rooms to the main hall um so it looks like there were like injured people here um i guess to so that the Hades people can make sure that they're not dying and then mm -hmm. send them to somebody who can heal them 
and then there's like the I don't know, 20 people that are out in the main room. And all of the bodies are, like, very, very burnt. Um, go ahead and make, like, a sorcery-wise test. Be off okay. to two. Oof, that's a difficult one. Um, zero minus, zero alpha, but it's on two. Three successes, four failures, or four Three obstacles. Sixes? I'll spend a fate. That's what R slash D six. Two D six. R slash two D six. Yeah. Oh. Oh my gosh! If I can type or maybe it right. slash R. <gasps> we always forget. Yeah, I know. <laughs> slash R. Okay, so I get at least one more success. Yeah. So you make it. Um, cool. You can identify that the fire, like the the burns, happened. This sounds not good, but like more efficiently than a normal fire. <laughs> okay, yeah. So it's magical, like it's more powerful yeah, than a yeah. than a regular fire. Yeah. Gotcha. Um. Okay. Can I? Because Mia's explained what she saw when we were in Jenny from down the street's mm -hmm. house. Um. Can I be on the lookout for things that seem non-human? Oh, I like that a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do perception up, too. Oh, oh goodness. Okay. Uh, perception. I'm team clear in Mia's name, so I'm like, <laughs> anything <laughs> to get me not on the wanted list. Nice. Four successes for one. Awesome. Out of five, too. You rolled really well. Um, so, yeah. There is one body out of the multitude of bodies here, like, as you're going through. Um, and as you're kind of, like, doing a blessing over the body, you notice that, like, the, the skin... I don't know how this would actually come across, but, like, the skin is burnt like all the others but it also seems like it had decayed prior to that mm -hmm, mm -hmm. like maybe the it's it's crispier or something i don't know <laughs> okay no yeah i i think that's interesting um and yeah like, or like sunken in eye sockets and a, a woman yeah. figure uh-huh and and i noticed that before i bless it right like as, okay. as you're blessing it. I don't finish that blessing because screw that. And uh, Jenny still needs a blessing. <laughs> no, you wait. Um, I'm going to finish with the other bodies and not react too badly if possible. Mm -hmm. um, but then I'm going to bring Captain Logan over. Okay. Yeah, you, like, beckon him over. Um, and he was just, like, chatting with the guard at the door. Yeah. Cool. I'm not going to say, what do you see that's different about this one initially? Okay. Um, but I'm going to bring him up, and when he comes up, I'm going to say, what do you know about the disappearances that uh, have been going on? Honestly, not much. But you've at least heard about them, right? Mm -hmm. Bertrand I... informed me. Right, that is how we got into this predicament. Um, I know you thought that someone higher up than Sergeant John needed to be looking into this, and I'm not disagreeing with you. Um, the reason that I believe Mia is not behind any of this is when we were visiting uh, the family of one of the victims, she had a vision. That has to be Bertrand has told you, right? Um, did you, out of character, did you tell Bertrand about the vision when you were at Jenny's? Mm, I did. No. no. I don't think so. So what but you're Lisa, telling him I, now is what? That Bertrand probably told him Mia had seen a vision? The original vision. 
which you did yeah. talk about. Okay. Yeah. I think. I don't think Bertrand told him, so he's just going to look confused. Okay. I thought that was... I thought that was why he was so concerned about her. Um, oh God, one second. Um, <laughs> We've lost them. We're gonna lose them soon. My thing has not been plugged in this whole time. Uh-oh, the infinite, the, the charger error. Um, okay. Um, didn't Bertrand to even tell you about this person. About Mia. John, you kind yeah. of go, go, go back. <laughs> uh, yeah, I said, what did Bertrand even tell you about this person? And oh, okay. you said about Mia, and I said, yeah. Yeah, so Logan says, he says, she was identified at the scene of the crime as being the cause of the explosions. And that's why we're after her. And now you're telling me that there's a reason, she, like a, a good reason that she blew up part of the North Ward. Um, I, all I can say, Captain Logan, is that one, Bertrand's reasons for um, getting to Mia were not because of her involvement with whatever happened in the North Ward. That surely has to seem like an abuse of your efforts and time. But um, as far as why I could see her using magic for something so destructive, she had a vision about the disappearances. She saw decayed flesh and something that had been dead no longer being dead. And so I have to believe that there was a reason for her to have done this if she actually did. Does this body look normal to you? Let me roll perception for him. Oh, please roll high. <laughs> Help him. What did I can say I was help him? To? If he accepts yeah. it. Can, yeah, can I can. actually help him? Do you want to help him and like point out what's wrong? Or not to... not at first. Not, okay. even, though, even though carry it through. You could just uh, point uh, out what's different. And then he doesn't have to roll. Or he can make the roll himself and see if he notices. I will... I, I guess the way I'll do it is I'll point out the differences and I'll say, like, does this seem like someone who was burned alive? Which, uh, I don't know, that might make it persuasion. Yeah, I think it is persuasion. Because you basically, you want him, your intent is to make him believe what? That this was not a living body when it was burnt. Okay. So his will for your perception is obvious. Persu it's three. For per persuasion. Yeah, sorry. Um, and it's going to be plus one because he's not like... Undead are not things that normal people are acquainted with. So it's off four. Persuasion. Oh, gosh. Okay, so zero mod. Zero Artha. You said base op four. Can you fork anything in? Um, let me look. Could I fork in, I guess, sorcery wise or sorcery to explain? Do you have undead? sorcery wise? I do. Is it Ooh. being unlocked or you have it fully? I fully unlocked the last session, wow. I think, or the session before. No, wait, hold on. I have sorcery wise in both spaces. So let's look at my. Uh oh character burn it really quick the only other thing is you could do it patiently because you can do any skill patiently I would, that's true um, yeah 
yeah. So I think I don't actually have sorcery wise, or yeah, I think I'm still training sorcery wise. Um, you could probably fork in history if you wanted to like. Yeah, that's the only to other. Him, like other periods of time where like necromancy was a thing or something like remind him of that I yeah see that i think that's that's the approach i would take mm -hmm. um yeah i guess that's my fork um so is that does that count as one modifier yep. okay but the base ob is now four yep. right oh god so i'm not gonna make it yeah two versus eight Oh, uh, you don't have persuasion. You don't have persuasion. No, no, oh, I don't. No. But I did get a six, and you know what? Heck it. Let's just R D six. Let's burn through some fate. And, oh. it one. Okay, well, and the fate denied you. <laughs> that's down. fine. Unsuccessfully explained to him why this was not a living human yeah. that got burned. So, um. You're kind of explaining to him about, like, all this necromancy and, like, pointing out some of the, like, details on this corpse. And he, like, listens to you. And at the end of it, um, he just kind of says, like, what would he say? Hmm. He would say something like, Bertrand always did say you were a believer in the, um, the fantastical or something like that. Like, just insult to injury <laughs> and kind of like dismiss you. And he, maybe he points out like how this, he's like, this corpse is burned. This corpse is burned. They're all the same. They died in the fire and then leaves it at that. Um... Okay, in that case, okay. Well, Captain Logan, I don't really understand how Bertrand could always have said stuff when you said it's a good thing uh, he doesn't have anything to do with the guard. Uh, I can't really figure out if you're actually close with him or not, but I think you've been all the help you possibly can be while I look for Mia. I was assigned to you, and I shall stay with you until you find her. That's so exciting. One moment, and then I'm going to... <laughs> uh, I'm going to say a curse over this body. Whoa. Maybe not a curse. If I know any magic that is like... I guess... Like a ward, or like... Um, against necromancy that's more of what i'm after you could do hinder if you like real if you want to roll sorcery yes i want to do that okay oh, God, where's hinder do you have it in your yeah it's one mm -hmm. okay it's Ooh, like good. Number three. <laughs> i was about to be like be careful last time i tried to cast sorcery i set an entire place on fire <laughs> <laughs> Ob two to increase the ob by one, and then it'll be single single target one person. So it'll be ob three. Okay, um, and then I'm going to name it. Uh... And you're targeting like the ability is death magic. Like if this body is attempted to be reanimated, make it harder. I mm -hmm. think that's cool. I'm gonna name it um, blissful rest. Nice. Ooh. It'll actually okay. be ob four too because the hinder is a plus one. Oh god, okay. It'll be ob five. four. But fork I get something plus, in, fork something in. I get the plus one modifier from naming. Naming. It. Yep. Um You can do it patiently. Yeah, I'd like to do that patiently. Okay. Which is just an extra carefully is the one oh, that actually sorry. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Carefully. I That's okay. Okay. That's yeah. So that's two modifiers still base on four, right? Yep. Sounds right to me. Oh gosh, the stats are not good for this. Nope. Now two successes, four failures. To, re to roll another dice. 
And if you rolled a six and then a success, then you would make it. I'll, I'll roll a d6. And I don't get a success. So stays a failure. Yep. And so, whatever the consequences of that are. I mean, they could be really juicy, but I don't want to do that again <laughs> for a little bit. <laughs> Let's I'll calm down. We just <laughs> killed a bunch of people, a bunch of innocents, real quick. So mm -hmm. we're. I'm just gonna have you make a ob two fort test. Oh, okay. Not that that's a fun thing to do either, but I'll do that. Um, ob two fort. Which the good thing is, I haven't done that. I have nothing on there yet. So zero modifier, zero of the base ob two. All right. Yay, two for two. Thank God. So, yep, the spell um, kind of exhausts you, um, but you mm -hmm. pick yourself up after the casting, and, um, like, there's no major consequences or anything. Uh, and Captain Logan's kind of just standing by you and watches you finish, and he's like, well, now where to? <laughs> <clears throat> Maybe I'll let you think on that, and we can jump to somebody else. Yeah, yes. Yeah, I'd like that. Or, I mean, we could do the. It, let's talk about this. Do you guys? We could do a time jump of like a couple days, and we could just assume the Alphonse and Logan just like bumble around the city looking for Mia, um, and then touch on like a couple things that happened during those days. Um, or we can continue, like, immediate consequences and discussing stuff there. I like the idea of just kind of montaging yeah. the search. Uh, I was honestly, say at this point... Oh, you cut out. I was just going to say, I was gonna say I, at this point, I think Alphonse's goal is to tire Captain Logan out, which after all of the late nights, and he's still a fit dude, like, he can do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think Mia's pretty down for the count for at least a couple days, yeah. so she's not even going to think about leaving the her little hidey hole until until maybe a week has passed. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, I'll, let's jump to Mia. I want to talk about that a little bit. So I think you... Ended last session, like, falling asleep in um, the secret room in Dr. Frank's dungeon. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I think the Where next... Where she felt very safe. Yeah, very safe. The next morning, I think, like, Frank and August both show up, like, and kind of knock before they open the secret door. Mm-hmm. Um, and they enter the room and basically discuss with her, like, how... how you're going to handle this and how, sh like, August is convinced that she's on an important mission because he she showed him. Yeah. So they want to decide with you how you're going to, like, disguise yourself or fix this or something so you can continue your quest. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, I think she doesn't really want to disguise herself, though she could with the illusion i guess um i think she wants what she really wants is she wants august to teach her how to show people her vision okay and like to see if like does that ability work beyond just vision can she like show memory because if she could mm -hmm. do that then she could show people the memory of her seeing the dead body and she could also show people the vision as well yeah, because I think she wants to move higher up. Like, yeah, she wants yeah, to talk yeah, yeah, yeah. to Stella and get see what's up with Stella. And then if not, I've thought about it a bit. And I think she wants to potentially move to the council. Like, and start... Just like, she doesn't care... It a lot. Right, because yeah. she doesn't care about the politics. Stella's playing politics. Um, and Bertrand's just doing whatever Bertrand does. But she wants to get everyone involved because she's actually worried about the city. Um, so that's kind of 
that's what I was thinking. Maybe for the two weeks, maybe she could use that to learn right. the skill from yeah, 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 yeah. August. Like uh, and then it could almost be a function of like touch of ages. Like we could maybe just tack it onto that, but we'd have to decide it's what the like obstacle. Reverse touch of ages, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. I guess kind of. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> um, so I think like August would tell you the limitations of like that power that he has. Like he he can't do memories for some reason it's just okay. the visions because the visions are coming from some like external not spiritual but like spirit place right. like they share the visions with i i imagine that's like how at least that part of it all works not necessarily mm -hmm. all of sorcery but right right stuff. yeah um and so like you can get the spirits to show somebody else what they showed you mm -hmm. but not necess like not any other part of like your experiences right right yeah because that's yours and yep. yours alone yep. i guess um, okay so i think that's kind of how it's like flavored but right he, he can teach you that and i think that is a good reason for her to want to stay like hidden away for a week a week and a half or something and be learning right. that from him Mm -hmm. um, yeah so I think that's what she wants to do and then she wants to see if maybe August and Professor Frank will like back her up when talking to Stella yeah and they will um, okay I think that to them is an obvious answer right <laughs> yeah because so, yeah, she's going to be helping dealing with damage control yep, automatically exactly. so and she brought me here yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm kind of her responsibility. <laughs> Just a little bit. Um, yeah, so I think that's good. And you have illusion, so if you need to disguise yourself, you can. Because what I was going to say is, like, she could... I mean, if Mia cut her hair, she would look so different. But if you have illusion, I don't think that's necessary. So, yeah. I know, and the hair's so fun. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> It's just too iconic. Yeah, I was going to say the only other thing would be do illusion, but get help from both of them. Mm -hmm. And do an illusion that would last a long enough time, I guess. Um, I think that's like... Yeah, that's pull up the thing is, I think illusion works on a person-by-person -person basis. Because it gets more difficult depending on the more people you affect. Mm -hmm. So it's not like a glamour... I mean, you could make a glamour for the city, but it'd be so difficult. It would be so difficult, yeah. You could. I could I you I could, could do a do version of for, transform. You could do it for a group and choose the city guard, because that would only add three op, which is still a lot, but. Well, and then you've got to think: How long do I want it to last? Uh, so if I want it to last for an adventure, that's another three ob. So it's six. So plus six, I guess. Or... Yeah. Because they, yeah, they would roll their perception and then we half it and then add six. Right. And that would be the sorcery. Which would be around eight, I think. Yeah, it would be a lot. And my sorcery is four. Yeah, so I think the I think the illusion thing's kind of a last resort. Yeah. She really has to, she could try and make it work. Mm -hmm. But she wants to see maybe if she can get political amnesty from Stella. And I, I guess see exactly where the fallout goes. Mm -hmm. Still kind of early. And she really needs to be able to convince people of her visions effectively. So she really wants that skill from August. Yep. Um, so for the training, do you want to just make like, what, what, let's see, what skill would make sense? Is this fortune telling wise? Yeah. Yeah. I love that you have profanity-wise. 
<laughs> I do. <laughs> so I can make up new profanity. Uh, I thought she would be yelling a little bit more when I first made her. <laughs> so, but she has the capacity. Yeah, let's... Let's do like a like fortune telling wise. And that can be sure. like the training. And then you can fork in whatever you think is applicable. Yeah. So fortune telling wise, I would fork in omen wise. Uh, hmm. Maybe uh, aura reading? Mm -hmm. I think. Yeah, because it's kind of like affecting someone's self. Yeah. Uh, and then, you know, might as well do astrology while I'm at it. Gotta love the astrology fork. Yeah. Yeah, I think that sounds good. And it'll What's be... my difficulty, yeah, though? That's what I was just thinking. Because, um... I think I it'll... It'll be... Or do you want it to be open-ended and that can determine how long it takes? Yeah, let's say like it'd be ob four to learn it like as soon as possible. Mm -hmm. And then ob three is like a week. Or if you get a three, it takes a week. If you get a two, it takes like two weeks. And if you get lower than that, then we'll see. Yeah. Okay. Well, then I'll do fortune telling wise and I'll fork in omen and uh, omen and uh, gosh, what did we say? Or reading. Or reading and where's I'm trying to decide oh, if I want to do astrology. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You should do astrology. Uh, okay. I just add that at the end, though, right? Yeah. I roll that separately. Yeah. Uh, what, do you want me to put the base off as just zero? Yeah, that works. Oh. <laughs> zero for zero. Jeez. Oh, my gosh. Absolutely despicable. Wow. That's terrible. Okay. Oh, and a one. <laughs> oh, no. oh, my gosh. Okay, I don't even know how exploding backwards. I need to roll again, I yeah. guess. But. Oh, and I get a six. Okay, so you're back at zero. So then roll again. So roll again. <laughs> this is ridiculous. What? I didn't put the space. Two. So once again, still at zero. Still zero. Mia is too psychologically just <laughs> sort of distraught to uh, focus. Yeah. So what? Like, what should be? What do you think should be the outcome of this? Like, do you think that it's something that August has has not tried to teach somebody, and then he figures out that it's like his own thing that he can't teach or yeah that's actually kind of what i was thinking is that maybe that is like his ability mm -hmm. to confer these visions or or to confer and receive because i've shown him mine mm -hmm. um yeah and it's just unteachable yeah so do you... no <laughs> i wanted it do you think that because he would offer to help you if he could. So do you think that if you give him one of your visions, he can then share that with somebody else and, like, you can chain it? Or do you think it's just his? I'm thinking it's going to have to become, like, a seance thing. Okay. Like, everyone has to hold hands, and through him, I can you transmit can it, maybe. Ooh, I like that a lot. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. he can get it from me, and then he can give it to others. Mm -hmm. But August becomes the key point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like that tuning fork. <laughs> right exactly yeah i can't do it without him yeah that's cool so i think you spend like yeah like a week and a half 
down in this dungeon, like, with him down there consistently trying to help you. Mm -hmm. Um, and then at the end, you just decide that it's impossible. Right. Um, but he does offer to help you, and he tells you, like, he'll go to Stella, and he'll explain to her what needs to be done, and then, like, try to help you progress. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so I think that's the outcome of that. Okay. That cool. sounds good to me. Yeah. Um, I think it is seven. So do you guys want to take a break and then we can come back and maybe do some Venus stuff? Does that sound good? Sure. Cool. So we will take a quick 10 minute break and we will be right back. So we'll see you guys soon. from break um i do so we're gonna jump right into venus stuff um so venus you spend that night like going back two weeks now you yes. spend that night at delfino's is mm -hmm. there anything particular you want to accomplish um during the two weeks during the two weeks yeah. Yes, I want to, one, be on the lookout for any sign of Mia mm -hmm. or August, because I know that August has been doing something with Mia. Yep. So I just want to keep an eye out for either of them. Yeah, make a, the entire make a two weeks. perception ob two. Perception ob two. Um, and can I fork in my circle with August? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's fine. Good try, though. Thanks. <laughs> okay. Wow. And then make another one for me. Ooh, one for two. One for two. Big yikes. Um, what was the other one for? Something. <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> What's the ob on this one? Two. Two for nice. two. So Can I one, move one of those August. sixes? <laughs> I mean, you could if you want to succeed more, but you already succeeded. You don't see August. You right. don't see Mia. Um, but you do see Alphonse just leading some guy around, like... He, he like he walks over to Mia's like little like place that she sleeps, and he like points mm -hmm. at it, and they like kind of discuss it. And then he walks over to like her seat in the classroom, and he points at it, and they discuss it. <laughs> and like, do he, I he walks recognize over to this? the library, and he's like, "Oh, I can't go in there, so I can't." <laughs> Harsh. <laughs> do I recognize this as a person of the guard? Yeah, it's obvious. Gonna just avoid that. Mm -hmm. Um. So I'll just note that then, file that away. I guess I also would like to. Hmm. What's Ezra doing during this whole time? He is still sick. <laughs> He's still sick. Yeah. I'll visit him occasionally, but I'm not going to do anything important with that. Okay. And then, actually, I do want to do something with that. I want to. Ask him how he knows Victoria, or how he knows the person who gave him the letter. Be like, I know who gave you the letter. Or wait, no, it was just left to him, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, never mind. Screw Ezra. He's not going <laughs> to help me out. Then I instead want to visit Ezra occasionally, but you, me and Delfino are going to be on a mission to figure out what um, 
what Victoria is doing with my mother. Like if she's having him do something that like similar to what she's having me do. So just like stake out her little brothel and like see if he comes and goes. Um, stuff of that nature. Okay, sure. When do you start that? Like the day after the party or? What? Yeah, probably pretty immediately. Okay. So go ahead and make a inconspicuous check. My forte. Ob two. Ob two. Actually, oh, don't lock the oven. Okay. No problem. <laughs> Ob one. Ob one. Mm -hmm. And if I want to spend a fade on this, I do it afterwards if I have any sixes. Yep. Okay. Nice. Well, did not need to do that. Three, so, four, one. For as long as you want, you stake out the um, brothel, mm -hmm. or house of pleasure. Um, and Delph, or not Delphino, <laughs> Victoro, I think like the first day kind of comes in and out, like does his daily business. Um, mm -hmm. working for Valentina. Yes. Um, but near the end of day one, like beginning of day two, he starts like coughing and like looking, I don't fevered. And then at some point, like you don't see, like he goes in and doesn't leave. Did you have anything to do with that, Delfino? Is Delfino with you? I assume Delfino and I were doing this together, yeah. I mean, I mean Delfino stays with you, like, the first day. Okay. Um, He's a I short think, attention yeah, fan. Yeah, he, he really does. Okay, that's fine. Expected. Well, hmm. I guess I'm going to go in and visit my mother then. Maybe on, like, a couple hours after he goes in and doesn't come out. Yeah. I'll go in and I'll just stop by. Okay. You, um, walk in and maybe, like, there's a private room upstairs where, mm -hmm. or, like, an area where, um, she and Victoria usually stay. Yeah. And you, like, walk into Victoria's room and she's sitting at his bedside, like, and as you walk in, like, the floors qu creak under your feet, and she kind of looks up and, like, gasps. And it's like, Venus, we were I was searching for you everywhere. I'm so glad you came. Oh, what's the matter, Mother? Victoro has felt very ill. I don't know. I've never seen anything like this before. Oh, um, I'll... <gasps> oh, no. And I'll, like, come over, and I'll just take, like, a little cursory glance at him. How does he look? Uh, make a perception of one. Ooh, okay, that's not too hard. <laughs> I probably fail. <laughs> uh, okay, two for one. Yeah, he looks really not great. Um, he looks like the similar symptoms to what Ezra has. Hmm. I will. Has he been around anyone new recently? Have you sent him on errands or anything? I mean that that party was a couple days ago, and there were anything... a lot of people here. But I mean, he just works here. He doesn't go on errands. Like he's not like you. Hmm. Yeah, he's not. Um. How strange. I feel like I've encountered this before, and I might be able to do something. Um, if you'd leave me with him for a few hours, I'll see what I can do. Of course. If, if I mean, if you have any magical healing or anything, I can leave you, and hopefully you mm -hmm. can fix him. And then yes, he, like, I'll, I'll try. He gets up and, like, dabs the sweat off of his head and, like, gives him a kiss on the forehead and leaves. 
I'll hug her before she leaves. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then I'll close the door and look at him and be like, well, well, well. <laughs> How the mighty have fallen. <laughs> he is just out of it. Like, he Perfect. doesn't even re recognize that you're there. Perfect. If I wanted to cast a spell to sort of, like, I guess probe his consciousness. Like, not make him conscious, but, like, make him sort of answer questions just, like, as I'm speaking to him, like just Ooh, from you could give him trait sleep talker. That would be really cool. Is that is it? Could we apply it like that? Like I think so, right? Like, okay, that seems legit. Yeah, I mean, I don't want him to just talk in his sleep though. I want to be like right. You want it to be useful, like almost hypnotize him. Yeah, could almost be an illusion, I guess. But... Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Like trait or illusion, one of the two. We could do a linked test between both of those okay. Somehow. i mean what if we did a trait roll to give him sleep talk and then i had to do like a further illusion to yeah, get yeah, it yeah. to do what i, I want i was gonna say you could like do an illusion where you look like your mother or something i don't, mm -hmm. yeah, I don't know to get him that's actually really I... fun i was thinking because he might respond better but I imagine he's, like, unconscious at this point, though. He's pretty out of it. True, okay. but the illusion is working on his... Uh, I, don't, I don't know. Whatever. Yeah. It doesn't matter. How does magic work? <laughs> <laughs> we get to decide. Okay. So, trait... And sleep talk isn't really... It's not detrimental. It's not detrimental. So it'll be One, awkward. two... Okay. Pretty easy. Yes. Well, yeah, okay. <laughs> I guess say that. And since sorcery is already open-ended, I can spend a fate to, add to a get one extra die end. Yeah. at the end. Okay, perfect. Wouldn't it be... Uh... Why? What's the cost for the trade? One. Oh, that's true. It's yeah, automatically it's ob one so for the... Plus one for the cost of the trait, and then it's got to be one because it's one target. Yep. I forgot that it was plus trait point cost. Sorry, Lily. Do you want to name it? You can do it patiently. I'll do it patiently. I have so much time. Careful. I'll do it carefully. So I have one modifier. And name it. And I'll name it. I'll say... Um... I don't know, like l loose lips or something. It's something like that. <laughs> We're going to name it that. All right. Yep. Your spell names are the worst. And they really are. I have more important things to be worrying about, like how I'm going to solve it's all of everyone's problems. one thing he can't come up with on the fly. Yeah. I know. The one thing. Okay. I'm Op three, you said? Yeah. <gasps> what? <laughs> Whoa, that exploded like crazy! Oh my gosh! Oh my god, eight for three! <laughs> you got oh, five got sixes, I think. Five, I got no. six sixes six, and six. two fives. Oh my god! <laughs> uh, all right, that's all your bad luck coming back to oh. help you on this one roll. <laughs> You just made him a sleep talker for the rest of his life. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Let me go ahead and mark that oh, routine that's sorcery. Insane. Oh, that's funny. That's what you dream of happening with an yeah. open-ended roll. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I kept going. Uh, oh, I love my that. God. Okay, great. <laughs> so... Great. Yep, he gets sleep talker. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well now I want to, I guess, make him think that I'm our mom. Okay. I guess like, I don't really want to like. Yes, subconsciously. Except make him feel the motherly love. 
Yes. Okay. And it's going to be called Motherly Love. Yeah, great. I'm glad I could give that to you. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to give that one to Abby. <laughs> We're gonna do illusion. Okay. And it'll be he versus. Okay, so I roll his perception. Mm hmm. Does he have, I would say, like a disadvantage because he's I unconscious? Agree. So if this will unfreeze. Uh. Base odd. So what the disadvantage will just. Subtract. How does that work? It just subtracts one from his. Because he doesn't really have an odd. Disadvantage oh. adds to the. Dif yeah, but he doesn't um, have a difficulty because he's just rolling to set the odd. Oh. So he got four oh, minus one halved goes down to one plus. Oh. Right? Yeah. Yeah. I forgot this I is one of those ones that. where you'd probably want to do it in the other direction. Because the yeah. difficulty because you would add to the difficulty of what Logan succeeded at to make it more difficult for Victoro. Logan, oh, oh, well, I let's can't. just keep it in mind and have Logan roll a source. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Which so is going to have... single target, and then mm -hmm. it just needs to be one test. Mm-hmm. So... For one session, so I think it's only, like, two. But then, since illusion is my number one, I get to add one to that. Or, like, the ob goes up by one. Oh, yeah. yes, yes. Oh man, it gets so complicated. So yeah, that's why just saying... cancel that with the other one. So like the difficult. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, no. yeah, yeah, yeah. Disadvantage in my sure. illusion thing. We'll just neglect them both. Because they're both an increase of one ob. Sure. So then, yeah. Victoro's perception halved is two plus one for single target is three. So it's ob three. Ob three. So I will. I will roll sorcery. Um, can I fork in... Illusion, most complicated art magic. <laughs> Change <laughs> yeah. my mind. It is pretty complicated. Uh, Arcade can... Fire is rough, too. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Once you figure out the weapon stuff. Uh, well, you have a name, Logan. And... I have a name. And then can I get an advantage die because I know sort of how she interacts with him? Make a link linked extortion test. <laughs> oh, jeez. Well, he's already okay. got a plus one from the previous test. Yeah. No. The, I, the, I feel the, like that I just set me up to yeah, make this I one. I agree. I don't think oh, the previous okay. one was linked. I think it was just a separate mm -hmm. spell. Just if, a normal... If you want to get... You can make a linked extortion. Okay, what's the odd on that? One. Okay, yeah, two so for one. an advantage on that. Okay, so I'm at two advantage, and then can I fork in soothing platitudes? Yeah. Okay, so three is my bonus. Yep, up three, two. No! <laughs> I will spend two for three. a fate. Yep. Oh, jeez. Okay. If after all of this... <laughs> <laughs> What is it? Roll d6. Flash R. Five. Woo! <laughs> three for three. Christ. So, what was the point of all of this to get him to... I want to just, like, <laughs> talk to him yeah. as my mother and okay, have him okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. respond. So he's like, Mama? <laughs> oh, Victoria, my sweet Victoria. Who, what's happened to you? Oh, I don't feel so well. I know, I know, I know. What's... Hmm. Do you know who's done this to you? I don't 
don't know, Mama. Have you been running around with people you shouldn't? I went to the party. There were people there. Stupid Venus showed up with a stupid boyfriend, and they annoyed me, but that is fine. No one else? You haven't gotten into trouble like you do? I don't get into trouble, Mama. <laughs> How are you doing on that task I asked you to complete? Oh, the women all love me. Yes, yes. What about the other one? No. What? The women. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the women. What about the women? I'm supposed Sorry. to take care of them when they come in. Oh, my God. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> yes, okay. And you've <laughs> made me very happy, child. Um. Now... I'm testing you here. I want you to think hard. Is there anything you're forgetting that I've asked you to do? Uh... <laughs> no? If you truly believe that. <laughs> oh, is there so what what can I help you with? I don't remember. That's fine. That's fine, my child. Now Now what is it you've done to Venus. You know I care deeply for him. <laughs> I can't. I can't. <laughs> Venus. I didn't. I didn't do anything to Venus. Don't lie to me, Victoro. I. I. I just <laughs> bothered him when he came to the party because he showed up with that, his boyfriend. What and about his other friend, Ezra? You know, oh, and he, I'll describe like, Ezra. <laughs> 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 he kind of like chuckles in his sleep. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. You, you didn't tell me to do that, Mama. That one I did. Mm hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and do you know anything of the disappearances in the city? Disappearances? You There's know, the a, people. The people died from the fire. Yes, yes, besides that. No. Oh my god. <laughs> are there are there people disappearing? Should I hide? No. No one would want you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I see like his one tear roll down his cheek. <laughs> <sighs> okay, well, sleep now, Victoria. You've disappointed me greatly. He goes like, Mama, give me a hug. No. Give me a hug. <laughs> <I'll> stand, <laughs> up. <laughs> stand up and I'll walk out. You just hear him like start mumbling about something random as you leave. Mm -hmm. No. Oh, jeez, I blew it. <laughs> You know, that's fine, whatever. He's useless. What? This kid is useless. Yeah. He's not doing anything. Yeah. I hate him. <laughs> okay. I will find my mother. Yeah. I'll say. She's um, just like an anxiously sitting downstairs, like knitting or something. Like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing to pass the time. I'll just tell her I said I I'll believe I believe he'll be fine. Um What did you do? Did someone you fix him? I didn't fix him. I think I've stopped it from getting worse for the time being. Um someone at school that has something similar and they it lasts for a while but no true harm has come to them. So you can rest assured. Um if False anyone hood. I that is Let's true. Stop. That's true. Yeah, it, uh, it was a falsehood, and then he prefaced it by nothing actually bad has happened. So, yeah. Um, do be on the lookout, though. If anyone comes looking for him, that's not me. 
Of course. Probably do think, don't do let you them. Think somebody did this to him? I'm not sure. Who would have done that? Maybe someone who wanted to stop you from looking into something. Maybe someone sending a message. I'm not sure. But I, I told you I don't send Victoro on missions. You I know. Should, I mean, if people are scared of that, you should be careful. Yeah, I think we're playing with dangerous people. Haven't you heard someone burnt down a quarter of the city? I did hear that. So tragic. So tragic, you know? <laughs> Just all those people. All those people. Well, you what have to go have a monster would now. do that? <laughs> yep, yep, yeah. Do you have any wine you want to have a oh, you want to share sure. let's we'll share a bottle of wine yeah and just complete like do that thing where it's like oh how tragic the city's burnt down like oh, 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 oh. thoughts and prayers thoughts and prayers for those people how's business like yeah she drinks her half of the wine bottle probably too fast. Yeah, yeah. But that's okay. That's how I've learned. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, that's all I really wanted to do unless I keep seeing Alphonse being followed by this guy. I think this happens consistently for... For the whole two weeks? Yes. Right? Okay, unless well, Alphonse I'll... would, like, give up at some point. But, like, Lo Captain Logan's gonna follow you unless you do something about it. Um, I'm sure that at the, like, three-day mark when we've hit literally the whole town and literally the whole school, mm -hmm. um, I'll be like, look. Actually, no. I would gather him and Bertrand and uh -huh. just be like, look, we have literally looked everywhere that I know of, and there's no trace of her. And obviously I'm as invested in this as you are because I don't want my friend to be uh, mistreated by the guard, no matter what they promise. Um, you know her, she's flighty, and uh, I don't want anything flighty to Flighty and flighty. I don't want anything <laughs> to happen in the heat of the moment, and I just... We're just going to have to keep our eyes out and have a passive lookout. I feel like I encounter you in the guard at some point. I'm like, Alphonse, have you seen Mia around recently? <laughs> and I'm sure at some point Alphonse looks like he's going to murder you. <laughs> <laughs> Immediate because, murder look. <laughs> because this has been creeping into his study time, into everything that he has planned his life for. <laughs> So he is in major bitch mode at this point. Um, active bitch face. <laughs> yeah. Like you two used to spend so much time together. Have you seen her recently? Well, when she wasn't spending time with me, she was spending time with you. So I guess we should ask you if you've seen her lately. No. Actually, you know, Captain Logan, it might be a good idea to keep someone watching that one. <laughs> <laughs> what does Captain Logan say to that? I think Captain Logan <laughs> agrees. Captain well, Logan, like, Alphonse mentions that you hung out with Mia. And, like, mm -hmm. Captain Logan kind of, like, I don't know, is not paying attention up until here, then... But then he mm -hmm. kind of, like, perks up and, like, walks over, and he's like, oh, and you are, and he, like, holds out his hand to shake yours. Uninterested, and then walked away. <laughs> Logan goes like, hey, 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 Sean, go, go, go watch that guy. <laughs> I have Pick to different complete, names. <laughs> I have to complete the trio. No, I thought there. you would leave me out of this. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping. So then, like, some chump guard comes after you and like mm. I don't know just follows you and is like hey what's your name I'm supposed to be watching you I guess were you friends I... with that girl that, explored, that exploded the city do you know anything about her do you go to the magic <laughs> school da, 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 like... <laughs> wow Sean is awful yeah. I love it I'm picturing like a 14 year old recruit yeah he's really young 
Sean. <laughs> I would love to answer your questions, but you know, actually, I would love to answer your questions. How about Come with me. I need to show you something. Oh, that would be great, sir. Thank you so much. What's your name again? <laughs> it's, you know, it's no concern. Just please okay, follow I'll me. I'll call you Nevin. Nevin. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> I am going to take him down to a part of the city. And I want to happen to bump into Clem Chrysanthemum. Sweet Chrissy. <laughs> okay, sure. Roll circle of one. I think she's my favorite background character. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet. Um, can I use my affiliation? Or... Yeah. Okay. Ob one. Nice. Ow. Yeah, so you just happen to run into Sweet Chrissy as she's, like, leaving um, one of the homes um, mm -hmm. down by the port or something. Okay, I'm going to be like... And she's, like, walking out, and this guy's mm -hmm. like, you're walking, I imagine, briskly, and he's just, mm -hmm. like, trotting after you, like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mr. Nevin, where are we going? Who are we going to go see? Are you going to answer my questions? <laughs> I, I will get to your questions, and then we're going to, I'm going to, like... Make eye contact with sweet Chrissy. Yeah. And I'm going to be like, oh, Chrissy, I have a friend here that I would love for you to meet. And I'm going to, like, wink at her. Yeah. He, like, catches up with you and he's like, Mr. Nevin, oh, this lady is pretty. Are you friends with her? I am friends with her. And, you know, Chrissy loves to make friends. Don't you, Chrissy? Oh, Chrissy, it's nice to meet you. My name's Sean. And he, like, goes up and shakes her hand. I'm going to be like, Chrissy, remember how I said I was going to show you things? Chrissy can show you much better things. <laughs> uh, make, a, make a persuasion check. <laughs> It'll be ob, uh, ob two. His will's probably not that high. Persuasion? Oh my god. He said she was pretty. Can I get an advantage? <laughs> no. Damn it. Uh... You have persuasion. It's only two, though. <laughs> two for two. Nice. <laughs> yes. Nice. Wow, I didn't even need another difficult persuasion. <laughs> <laughs> Chrissy, um, like, meets your gaze mm -hmm. and kind of winks at you, and she's like, Sean, was it? I sure can show you lots of things. I can answer any questions you have to, and she, like, walks him off. Cool. And he's <laughs> like, it was nice to meet you, Mr. Nevin. I hope to see you again soon, and you're like, God. <laughs> Thank God that's over with. Oh, my God. <laughs> Well, I'll just <laughs> be on my way then. <laughs> Maybe, no. I'm going to go to church. Wow. What? Is there, <laughs> let me look up Greek gods for prostitution. Just no, 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 no. I want to go to Bertrand's church. Mm. Mm. So, what, it's House of Many Hands. Whatever oh. I called it. It's like the temple of all of the gods. Is the one that he yeah. like watches over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna just. Have you ever been mm -hmm. to church? No. <laughs> <laughs> Big yike. I have to ask for directions. It's like if yeah. someone's in Rome and they're like, "Yeah, can you point me to like where the Pope is?" <laughs> like I just, I'm trying to meet him. I have no idea where Bertrand is. Okay. Do... I have city wise. Oh no. Hold on, we'll be right back. Oh. 
Okay, we're oh, back. God. I don't know what happened. Discord, as always, does not want to be our friend. <laughs> but hopefully, we're that's our one oopsie for the session. <laughs> we'll be good from now on. Um, so, as you were saying, Logan, you have CityWise. So just do an ob1 CityWise check to see if you can find the biggest temple in the city. Okay. I can. Good. One yep. for one. You find it. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna, like, walk in. Mm -hmm. Is there, like, a service going on? Let's see. Slash R, D6. Nope. No? Perfect. Is there somebody? Like, a priest or something? Yes. I think... You don't get greeted as you walk in because there's like mm -hmm. little shrines to all of the like major gods and goddesses. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then there's like a caretaker that's going mm -hmm. around and like taking care of the offerings and all this. But I recognize none of this. Yeah. I'm just gonna find someone who looks like they know, like they belong here. Mm -hmm. There's that caretaker. I'm gonna walk up to the caretaker. Uh -huh. Um, excuse me. Do, do you? Do you run this temple here? He kind of rubs his eyes and looks at you and is like, Oh, laddie, I don't run this temple. <laughs> but, <laughs> but I do try to take care of it. And can I say you have done an exquisite job. You know, I have been in so many temples in my time, and this is the best cared for one I can say I have been in, and that is a, not a lie. <laughs> Make a falsehood of one. Time. It's not! False. I. This is the nicest temple I've been in. <laughs> just, just do it. Or oh, something gratitudes, whichever you would prefer. Definite. Wait, what's the ob? One. Okay, I'll do something. Because this guy wants to believe you. <laughs> yeah, of course he of does. Of course he does. Four for one. <laughs> <laughs> he holds his hands up to his heart and he's like, "Oh, it means so much for somebody to tell me that." I just try my best every day, and I try to impress Bertrand and all of the people who come into the temple. Speaking tournament. of Bertrand, <laughs> I am... I'm going to just cut him off. Speaking yeah, yeah, yeah. of Bertrand, I'm actually here to see Bertrand. Oh, you're here for Bertrand? I don't know what yes. happened to his accent. <laughs> he got too excited. It's okay. <laughs> it's gone. Like... I, I can go check and see if he's here. You just wait here and you can pray to whatever god or goddess you want. And I'll be right back. And he like turns and hobbles away. Is there anybody else here? Uh, There's like random citizens, not I'll, temple people. But... I'll just like walk over to one of the statues and sort of like make it sort of look like I'm doing something that I should. Yeah. I'll just like look at him and like, so who are you? You important here? It you walk up to the shrine of Dionysus and there's mm -hmm. like wine glasses set out as offerings. Mm, I'll just <laughs> <laughs> just like second nature, just like as I'm looking up, it I just pick one up casually. Ugh. Ugh. I assume it's been out for a while. I don't just like. Uh... Um, let's see. I like die of fate. It's a good rule. Rule. Yeah, it's been out for a while. Yeah, yeah. I'll I'll like drink it and spit it back into the cup and put it back. Oh, well. yeah. There's like one of the villagers that is there sitting at the temple as well. Mm -hmm. Is like sitting there pouring a glass of wine and kind of like looks up at you, startled a little bit, and then pours another cup and like offers it to you. And they're like, "You don't have to drink the shit wine." To worship Dionysus. <laughs> Are you trying to say that I don't know how to worship Dionysus? I take the wine and I'm <laughs> drinking it. Like, no, no, no! I would never say such a thing. I'm just okay because you... we all we all have our ways that we worship <laughs> Di Dionysus. Okay, so you do you and I'll do me. Drink the wine. I'll finish it and I'll hold it out for another refill. <laughs> so they kind of side eye you and then pour you like a half a glass. 
put the cup down, walk to a different statue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Very uncomfortably, just like I'll go to one where there's like not very many people, and I'll just sort of like loiter, waiting for this caretaker to get back. <laughs> you go to like the shrine of what? What's one that? What's a lesser known Greek deity? Apollo. No, he's pretty good. Not lesser known. He's one of the big ones. Uh, I want to say like Hephaestus or something. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. I could see him going to Pan or something like that. But I think Pan's too obscure to have even a statue here. Like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Gosh, okay. John. So, <laughs> what a dumb suggestion. <laughs> you said less. You said less well known. I took That's it, Ran. Yeah, no, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you just hang out at the Hephaestus statue. Mm -hmm. And um, you were drawn in by the muscles. Yeah. Yeah, I was like, oh, who are you? Do I want to meet you? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you maybe like five minutes, ten minutes um, passes. You hear like the cane tap on the, <laughs> on the um, stone floor, like, and this guy's just like hobbling over to you, and he's like, <laughs> "Mister Sir, where did you go?" And he's like looking around. I'm over here. I just <laughs> praying to. Is there like a placard? I look real quick for a name yeah, on this guy. Festus. On Festus. Was. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yes, Hephaestus, one of my favorites. And he makes his way over to you. Mine, too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so he gets up to you. And he kind of, like, squints at you. And he's like, Bertrand is in the back. So if you'd like to see him, he's available now. I would love to see him. Perfect. Follow me. And he hobbles away. <laughs> <laughs> okay i'll follow just very slowly i yeah, guess yeah 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 so you follow him um he makes his way to like the back one of the back office rooms you pass through like a hallway that has bookshelves about like i don't know each of the gods probably has like a bible-esque thing like their mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. whole belief system and like, i have no idea their pantheon um, so there's like a bunch of books detailing each of them and you pass through that and then you turn and there's just like a simple desk with a couple of decorations and like a private um, couple of shrines and Bertrand sitting at the desk and he looks up as you enter. Does he immediately recognize me? No. Okay. Solely because the one time you met him, I think he was more focused on Mia and then Alphonse protecting Mia. Yes. Like, being defensive. So I yes. think you were kind of just a bystander in that. I was, yeah. yeah. So, no. Okay. Ah, uh, Bertrand, is it? It's good to see you again. Uh, we met have out we, in the... Have we met? Yes, I was, I was with... Um... Alphonse and Mia the other day when we all met in the square on like 12th and Birch or something like that. Mm, Alphonse and Mia? Are yes. you their friend? Schoolmate, really. I, you see, I go to the college with them. I see, I see. I've just come to you because I've recently learned that you and Alphonse have a relationship we are cousins, that's true. Cousins, that's, I was trying to think of what it was, cousins. Um, and I was very concerned with his well-being because, you know, he does associate with Mia. And I've heard that she has done a terrible thing. And I was just very concerned for him. And I was wondering if you had any, I guess, information or I guess if you knew anything about him. I haven't seen him in a while. He um, kind of beckons to you, and he's like, come, come sit. And he's like, uh, what's a good old person name for this guy? Like, I don't know. The uh, Barnabas. Yeah. Eustace. <laughs> Eustace. 
Barnabas, you can go now. Thank you so much for bringing him. And Barnabas is like, oh, no problem, Bertrand. Whatever I can do. And he hobbles away and you hear his cane like ticking <laughs> as he walks down. The moment I'm invited to sit, I just like completely lounge, like very not respectful of the situation. Sure. Hold on, I need to make a note. <laughs> Barnabas. We can't forget about our lovely care. Okay. So, Bertrand beckons to you to sit, and you sit, like, put your feet up on the desk, and he looks upset for a split second. Mm -hmm, He's like, mm -hmm. tell me more about your concerns with Alphonse, please. You know, he's just been doing a lot of running around with Mia, and it's very unlike him, because, you know, he's very studious, and he spends a lot of time in the library, and I cannot say I have seen him in the library in a couple days. It's very unlike him. And so, I don't know if he had a part to play in this. They were running around, you know, together, and then Mia did this thing. So, who knows if Bertrand's... Either, I guess, I'm just gonna spell it out for you. Either Bertrand is involved, and I'm very Alphonse, concerned about the... <laughs> or you, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Either Alphonse is involved with this whole plot and needs to be taken out, or I am very concerned for his safety if he's associated with me and she's demonstrated herself to be a monster. What are you trying to get? Like, what's your intent? I just want to establish a relationship with okay, Bertrand sure. such that he can sort of relate. Trust me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To, like, be an informant on Alphonse. Do a soothing platitudes of oh, yes. three. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, with an advantage. Okay. Can I fork in falsehood? <laughs> or yeah, some... yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, 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 but also everything he told Bertrand is something that he already knew from me. Yeah, but the yeah. Venus is a Venus is telling Bertrand exactly what Bertrand has always believed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it's not that he's providing him new information; it's that he's providing him the information that he believes. I'm confirming what yeah. he wants to hear. Right. <laughs> what was the ob for? Ob three. Ob With three. An advantage. And then a fork. Yes. So. Okay. Yeah. Two modifiers. Ooh. Right? <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> no, uh, two for three. How upsetting. Yeah. So Bertrand, I mean, he's still. Um, John's gone, but that's fine. <laughs> he, I, I, can I'm I failing. have a suggestion for how I fail? Yeah, sure. I feel like I, like this whole time I've just been like, oh, I'm a concerned person. And then I, I feel like at some point I get a little too excited and I say in like something about like the three of us yeah, doing something. Like, yeah. not that I'm just an innocent bystander. But, like, I was involved. Or, like, I let it slip. I was like, once Mia went to investigate that thing, like, something that puts me as a part of it. Yeah. So, I think that, like, he he still agrees with everything you're saying. Mm-hmm. But, like, your intent was to get him to trust you as an informant. And now I think he's suspicious of me. Right. <laughs> But still, like you're, you're, you're still telling him what he wants to hear. Mm -hmm. It's just that now you're part of it too. <laughs> Correct. Yeah. <laughs> um. So you talk about this, and I don't think you can tell. Like no. he just agrees with you, and he's like, Alphonse, I've always been worried about him, and then this involvement with Mia, and this explosion, and I don't. He came and told me about these crazy visions, and I just don't know what that has to do with anything. And, like, he kind of rants to you two a little bit. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
Okay. And then and then he ends with like But I've kept you for far too long. Are you you mentioned that you had I mean you you've spent time with Mia. Do you are you interested in joining the search? Oh, um I, you know, I just know Mia, I guess like tangentially giving him an opportunity to like call me out yeah, yeah like yeah. do falsehood then let's do falsehood ob two okay falsehood ob two oh yes. two for two mm -hmm. so he's like i see so you haven't spent all that much time with her i mean she's no, 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 only no. been here for about a week now correct is it? Yes, yes, yeah. I've been known her for a couple days, really. Say, what did you said? Your name was Venus. Did I? <laughs> yes, that is my name. Mm hmm. Do you know anything about what's happening up at the magic school? What do Our you mean? is very. I don't know, secretive about anything that happens up there. And I'm just concerned that maybe this is all part of a greater scheme and not just one student. I mean, student. whatever could you be suggesting? I have no idea. Do another falsehood. Oh, oh God. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, what's the ob? Two. Ah, can you make it? Challenging. <laughs> can I have disadvantage? <laughs> Night. Yeah, you can have disadvantage. So, ob three. Yeah. I don't. Yes. I need difficult tests. I didn't need any more speed. <laughs> okay, so you're it's very clear. I'm lying. Disadvantage is like that you're lying through this forced smile. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, and he doesn't mean? trust you anymore. So. And he doesn't. And he you. doesn't trust me anymore. So he's like, I think that you do know about. Is the uh, please? I think, I think, it is time for me to leave. It was a pleasure meeting you, Bertrand. He moves around you to stand like in the doorway, <laughs> or tries to. <laughs> He tries to. I'm gonna make a run for it. Okay. Do. <laughs> do All speed right. Speed versus him. Okay. Who goes first? Speedy. He'll go first. Okay. He's a fast priest. So speed up one. Speed up one. Two for one. Yep. So you like scooch around him and it's like, okay, I'd best be off. Goodbye. And he kind of moves to get around you and, like, exclaims, but you are out the door. Is he chasing me? No. Ugh. That would be completely inappropriate. Yeah. <laughs> Can I, like, bump into... I want to bump into Barnabas on the way and accidentally knock him over. And then yeah, Barnabas is still, oh like, God. on his way out. Yeah, I'm sure he's still <laughs> walking. And I'm going to, like, push him aside... He falls to the floor, and then I just keep running through. I might stop by Dionysus, grab a glass, drink, and run out. <laughs> so yeah, you you bump into Barnabas, um, and he like starts to fall, but like catches himself um, with the ag agility of somebody like thirty years younger than him. Wow. <laughs> Okay. And, um, <laughs> but like still kind of falls and is like catching himself and probably takes two minutes Years. to stand up. So yeah. Yeah. Um but he kinda like yells after you and he's like, Laddie, is that you? I hope you got what you were looking for. And <laughs> kinda like fades off in the distance as you leave. Mm-hmm. Making sort of a quite a scene. I'm sure a lot of people see me sprinting through this chapel yeah 
as I Do you want to make a scene? Or do you... No, but I'm like... I... Logan wants there to be a scene made. Venus is not trying for there to be a scene. Okay. Cool. So yeah, you can make a scene. Um, do an agility ob2 check. Do a what? Agility ob2. Agility ob2. One for two. So you stop by the Dionysus statue and pick up a glass of wine and like as you're angrily drinking it you like get a wine stain on your shirt. Okay. And then knock over a couple glasses of wine yeah. and like shatter some glass out. and run out, yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Great. <laughs> <laughs> Mission accomplished. Could not Mission have gone better. <laughs> I'm very happy with how that went. All right, okay. cool. So that's what you get. <laughs> um, I think we'll take our second break there, and then we'll come back, wrap up, and then do um, Artha and stuff after that. So we will be back in ten, and we'll see you all then. <laughs> back for our final bit of tonight's session. Um, I do think I want to bounce back to Alphonse and then we can see if we have time for anything else. Um, but we had talked about maybe doing a chat with Captain Logan and Alphonse and seeing how that goes. Um, so maybe after, like, how long do you think it would take for Alphonse to just get fed up? I mean, honestly, two days would probably be pushing it because at that point, where in the city or at the school could we still have left to look, right? Um, especially because, like, especially if Bertrand knows that I'm doing this in good faith, the whole point is because I want to find her and I want there not to be a huge altercation. Um, so yeah, I think probably after two, like we did that evening mm -hmm. and then the next full day. Yeah. And then probably by midday of the third. Okay. Um, All of the searching um, that you do, can you just give me like a perception uh, four? We're gonna make this pretty hard. But... Thank gosh, yeah. Cause I don't actually really wanna find her. <laughs> Okay, perception of close. Nope. Three successes to four failures. Or four. Not a six if you want to know what this is for though. Um you know that sure is interesting, but <laughs> oh do I want to know what it's for? It's not a lot of fate, so I mean I do have a lot of faith. Okay, fine. Yeah. That makes it go from difficult to... No, Bartha doesn't affect the difficulty. Oh, thank gosh. Okay. You oh, no. Don't get to know. Okay. So, yeah, you just don't see any head or tail of Mia. Also, make or sure you note that you've, what you've used Artha on. Mm -hmm. What? Oh, my goodness. I'm going to have to go back through and mark this down. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's okay. Um, cool, yeah, so after that long of a period of time, Alphonse is probably frustrated, like he has schoolwork to be doing. He already can't get into the library. I mean, you can and, probably uh, That's now, almost right? done, yeah, yeah almost true. Done. That is, it was four days. I guess by now we're at day like, it's like tomorrow four you of back. four. Yeah. yeah, I guess 
here's what I'll do then. As we're searching through the school, I'll see the timer and I'll be like, look, you can go look in the library, but I can't. Mm -hmm. That timer is how long I have left to search because I also have a job and it is actually not doing the guard's work. I think he just doesn't engage you. And like he goes and searches Good. the library and then doesn't find anything. Cool. If I know of any like secret passages or anything, which I don't think they, I don't think I would. I'd be like, yeah, just pull that book. Mm -hmm. I don't. Um, I don't think the library, like the library, would have the restricted section, but it's not like hidden. Uh -huh. It's just. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> I'll be like, that section's special. I don't know if you really want to try to look in there though. <laughs> Purposefully misleading. Probably shouldn't go back there. Why not? Well, I, I, that's why I can't go in there anymore. Mm. Okay. Then he like goes up to a librarian and asks them, and um, let's see, let's see, Mister Dude, what do you got? Oh yeah, the librarian lets him into the restricted section. Boom. <laughs> um, but he still doesn't find anything. He just like mm. kind of wanders around and joins back up with you at some point. I think the restricted section would have like a reverse, like the opposite of the library lockdown countdown. It would have like the accepted people and for how long. <laughs> <laughs> that Great. makes sense. Yeah. So he gets on it for like 30 minutes or something and then goes in there and checks around and doesn't find anything. Um, mm. But you kind of finish your sweep of the library and the match at school and then head back out. Um, like maybe around lunchtime you would go back and get lunch and like Isaac would make lunch and you would all like kind of convene um, you Bertrand and Captain Logan on if you had had any success and what the plan was for the next half day and stuff like that. During the, this is day three, right? Day, yeah. Okay, um, during the lunch, if I see Sar Sergeant John, mm -hmm. can I let him know like when and where the other three of us are meeting? Yeah. And like to join us? Yeah. So you're, I think you're sat down like for lunch and eating, and you see him like walk by the open door. Like, yeah, up I. His office. Yeah, I'll try to slip away, and say, "Oh, I'll be right back. I need to talk to a friend." Okay. Yeah, they let you, and they just kind of continue chatting. I think Liss is probably there randomly, like. <laughs> oh fuck, Lissa. Okay. <laughs> Rude. Well, I'm sorry, Sean, slash Mia, but Alphonse has no time for people like that. Superstition has no place in magic. <laughs> I mean, that is not false, so. <laughs> yeah, so you kind of sneak out, make your way up to Sergeant John, and he, like, is just settling into his desk and, like, squaring up some papers and maybe taking a look at his calendar or something. I don't know. Whatever a sergeant would do. <laughs> sergeant John, how are you doing? Doing pretty well. Do you know who the people are that are just downstairs? Which ones? I mean, the I know Bertrand. I don't know the other mm -hmm. man and the woman. You don't know the other man? No. Sergeant Logan? Sergeant Logan. Captain. Captain Logan. Captain Logan. You don't know him? No. Who? Captain of another city? I thought he was a captain here. That's what I was informed by him and Bertrand. And we have... He's, he's wearing the city's livery, isn't he? He is. I figured that was just a blend in but maybe there's been a change of personnel up at the top I don't know 
that might be a question for who do you report to? Sorry, do you report to Captain Abby? Yeah, Captain Abby. <laughs> <laughs> or pick a rank above Sergeant. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or Captain, I guess. That might be a question for Captain Abby then, apparently. I hate this. Good job. <laughs> you did this to yourself. I did. You I did. did do it to I yourself. Did. It's over you did now, this to it us. can't get any worse. <laughs> There'll be more Abbeys. Just wait. Um, yeah, I think that'd be a question for Captain Abby. I guess, is she around? Because Bertrand, John, and I are meeting after lunch about, I'm sure you know about, um, Bertrand Logan this... and you. God dang it. Bertrand <laughs> Logan and I are meeting after lunch. I'm sure you know about, um, the citywide search for that wild haired girl who was here before. Um, I've been. Yes. I met her, right? You did. Yeah. Yes. She was, yes. She was acting pretty weird. So we just sent her to get more food. Um, that's me. But she's weird, not dangerous. That is a dangerous animal. <laughs> um, but she's weird, not dangerous. And so I'm hoping at this meeting to be able to at least have this legitimately, it's a witch hunt, become something a little more passive. Um, and I think it'd be good to know if whoever's actually there isn't really a part of the guard. I mean, I haven't seen them before, but if you want me to check, I mean, the captain's based up in the castle. How long would it take a runner to get there and back? We can probably have our fastest man there and back in 30 minutes. I think that'd be a good idea. Um, at least to say that there's someone here, Captain John, who you've, Captain Logan, who you've never met, and to either confirm that he's with the city guard or to give some instruction as to how to handle someone impersonating a city guard captain. Yeah, I, I can try to postpone or hold off for a half hour. Do you, uh, <laughs> motion detected lights. Now, um, do a persuasion knob one. Okay. Because your intent is to just have him, like, to have him carry this out, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Discreetly, I think, is the whole point, is that you don't want, like, Logan knowing that he's looking into it. Right, yes. Um... <laughs> Yeah, I don't think there's anything I can fork in. Okay. Zero. Base ob one, you said? Mm -hmm. One success for two, and I rolled no sixes. So no. I have been rolling so terribly today. I know. Um, so I, I, I think he still does it, mm -hmm. but maybe... Like, Bertrand and Captain Logan notice that there's some, like, hubbub. Maybe <laughs> John is like, yeah, we must get on this at once. Like, let's go find somebody um, to run up there and check. Then we'll have him back in no time. Mm -hmm. You can distract. It'll be great. So John, like, walks out of his office and, like, gets into the stairway. And he's like, oi, Sean! And Sean, like, comes running up the stairs. <laughs> He's like, yes, sir, yes, sir. Where do you, what do you need me to do? And, like, asks all of these string of questions when really he only needs one answer. Um, mm -hmm. And, like, Captain John comes out of his, like, out of the lunchroom, like, near the end of this as Sean's, like, running off down the hall. Mm -hmm. So he just noticed that you're doing something. Gotcha. Um... 
Yeah, but I think he, like, sees, kind of looks at you, looks at John, and then goes back into the lunch room. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> um, I am going to make a quick detour into the kitchen. Okay. To find Isaac. Yeah. He's there cleaning up from the lunch he just made. Hey, Isaac, how are you? How are the kids? Hey, John, let me tell... Or, hey, Alphonse, oh, jeez. I really messed myself up. You did it to yourself, and now we are all suffering for it. I just want you to know that. No, I secretly love it, so it's fine. <laughs> Isaac's like, hey, Alphonse, the kids are doing great, and he tells you the same stories you've heard, like, four times by now. Um, yeah. Yeah. It's so weird to catch up with you, like, twice a day anymore. It used to... It, for the longest time, it was every year. Um, I mean, we haven't, I said, yeah, we haven't seen each other in probably 14 months, and now you're in here, like, every day getting lunch, and it's just like old times. It's something like old times. It's been eventful. Um, you know how we've been searching for Mia. Do you, do you remember her now? I remember you telling me about her, yes. Anyway... Totally unrelated to that. Um, okay. Sergeant John just sent out a runner, and it looked like there were a couple of guys who might try to follow him. Do you mind just keeping an eye out for him while he's on the block or on the street? Make a persuasion of one. Oh boy, that's been going so poorly. And their routines, they don't even count. Well, Oh wait, I'm trying to do count. Yeah, yeah, oh they, my god, that's the best news. <laughs> okay. Zero. Oh wait, can I say one mod because he knows me? Yeah, you and like we're buddies. Childhood friends. Yeah. Okay. Because it has been going so poorly lately. They saw one. Nice. Yay, two for two. Ooh. Okay. It's like anything for you, Alphonse, old friend. Who was the I appreciate runner? it. What was his name? His name was Sean. He looks like oh, a little Sean. squirrely dude. Yeah, the little, the new, new recruit. He is yeah, he's one. gotta be. I, that's good. Yeah. Do you mind? Do you mind just keeping an eye on him oh, and letting course, me know if anything bad happens to him? Would you? I mean, if you want me to keep an eye on him, do you want to take over the dishes or something? Like, I need to get this cleaned up. Um. I can do a few dishes. Thanks. I have a meeting at what time is my meeting? Like now. Oh, Jesus. Um, <laughs> Isaac, what happens if I get to the dishes at in an hour? I mean, it's going to get all crusty and it'll be hard to scrub off. And I don't, but, you, but you know how much I love cleanliness. That is true. I will do what it takes, but I have to go to a meeting first. That works, Alphonse. You know, go, you know I, the... I got to go watch this guy that you want me to watch. You go watch this guy. Okay. You know the big planning room? The, the, yeah, just across. The yeah. Room. Yeah. Sure. That's if something goes wrong, you come in and you find me. Okay, that's where you're gonna be. If something goes wrong, come find you. Watch Sean. Yes. The little squirrely dude. Little squirrely dude, Sean. Thank you, Isaac. Uh huh. No problem. I got this. He got okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And then I will walk into the meeting with a big pot of coffee. Okay, great. And I think we will end today there. Um, cool. I think that's a good stopping point. We can have that meeting. Um, yeah. It, I will have to figure out what I want to do with all that. But at least mm -hmm. I'm glad that this session went better for you guys. Even if roles were failed, I feel like it was still better. <laughs> Yeah, last session was rough. I loved last session. It was just, it was wild. We can't have two wild sessions in a row. I am perfectly content. Wild. Perfectly content with throwing Captain Logan out of a tower. <laughs> I'm fine with getting rid of Sean forever. <laughs> Maybe Captain. I'm right. <laughs> So I do, I, before we do Artha, I want to throw around an idea. Um, because I think it could work for next session if we really wanted it to. 
and I think it might be good, but we'll see. So I think based on what I think the first scene of next session will be the meeting and based on mm -hmm. how the meeting goes and if Isaac sees anything and all that, um, I think that will all like, I think the next big thing will be a council meeting, assuming that I think we can kind of glaze over the like Stella. I mean, maybe we have an interaction with her, but I think she trusts Mia and August. So I think, and, and Pronk. Mm -hmm. um, so I think she's probably willing to help there. Not to like <laughs> completely glaze over your belief. I guess you can still find out if you, she just trusts you, but you don't, yeah. So that's probably fine. Um, but some of us had talked about doing a council meeting and like splitting up the roles, like each playing. I don't know, one or two different NPCs at this council. Mm -hmm. um, and then maybe having like a duel of wits each, and then that can be our duel of wits practice. And it I don't, leads into a lot of things I think we already need to learn. Plus, it would just be fun for people to be like these top people, and we can all talk about like beliefs and inst like get a couple of those for each person and then just see mm -hmm. what happens at this meeting. Um, with the disappearances and the fire and the city guard and the church and like all of these clashing. Um, so maybe if you guys are good with planning on doing that in two weeks, maybe we plan on that. We do like the little scene of this lunch meeting with Alphonse, Logan, potentially John, maybe Isaac. <laughs> Um, and Logan, like a, a little mini, like maybe 30 minutes. And then depending on like what happens in that, then we can use that, but plan on doing the council meeting for the rest of the session. Does that sound fine? Yeah. Okay. I think that sounds fine. I think that'll be a good time. Um, so we'll plan on that. I'll get with you guys and we can talk about what exactly we want to do there. Um, yeah, but I wanted to throw around that idea just so I can start thinking about it because that's ambitious. Yeah, I think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. But I feel like the council needs awesome. to be invoked sooner rather than later. I agree. So if we get them out the way now, it's easier to bring them up later. Yep. If we need. I agree. So cool. so we'll plan on that. Um. Other than that, we can dive into you guys' Artha and give that out and then wrap up. So, belief-wise, does anybody... I think you guys hit some good ones. I feel like I made progress on figuring out how to destroy Victoro. Yeah. By hypnotizing him and figuring out... That he's actually useless. Yep. But he does, he is in charge of pleasing women. So now I have something to work with. There you go. Yeah, you can have one for that. You can talk to his clients. Yeah. <laughs> or just give him a trait of bad in bed. <laughs> Displeasing. <laughs> Smelly. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so many ways you can go. I really honestly don't think I made progress on any of my beliefs. Really? I'm closer to getting back into the library just because time's passed. <laughs> <laughs> but otherwise, like, my conversations with Captain Logan didn't really uh, serve to bolster his support of the city versus the church. But you sent, I mean, you went to Sergeant John to send somebody to the real captain. So I think yeah. that's progress, at least. You don't know yet, but... I'm not going to fight you on that. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, do you guys agree? I think so. You... Did you just apparate that cat? You just pulled her out of nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if she stands right under my computer, it's, like, perfectly hidden. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
<laughs> uh, <laughs> so cute. Except for her tail. Uh, yeah, I think that counts as progress. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Much appreciated. Did you do anything, Mia? No. We really <laughs> left you out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> She's done light. a lot for the last couple of seconds, so. uh, And you've been hidden, so I couldn't have made progress on that belief. Right. But <laughs> Alphonse has a connection to the church. I will determine how I can best use this relationship. Did I? I don't. I could feel like I either made progress or I finished it in a bad way. You nuked it. Because I learned. I don't think you know. I don't like, think you know. Like, I don't, yeah. Like, you got yourself into a bad situation, but the door is not completely closed. So I would consider progress. Yeah. Progress? Okay, not I'll completed. take it. I agree. And then I will never turn down a cup of wine. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> You apparated opportunities for wine. And I used some of my traits, but none of them really affected yeah. the story. Yeah, same. Aren't the light. Mm -hmm. For once. Yeah. <laughs> I don't that does not describe true. me. Aren't <laughs> the light. I had no fate, and then all of a sudden it's like, where do I hold all this fate? <laughs> you have a lot. I'm glad mm -hmm. that our numbers have kind of like... They're, they're still high, but more reasonable. It's just it because... really, I mean, it depends on the rolls, because yeah, you can't does. spend fate yeah. if you don't get sixes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. And I don't get sixes unless I get six of them at once. Yeah. <laughs> That was all very I can't up. believe that roll. That was insane. <laughs> yeah, it was crazy. Uh, but I loved it. <laughs> now we have a goal to beat. Six sixes. <laughs> yeah, you got eight, I just... eight successes on five dice. <laughs> insane. <laughs> Pretty crazy. Cool. Well, if, unless anybody has anything else. Um, nope. we will be back tomorrow at 7 central for Dungeon World Get excited. yes we will um, and that should be pretty short I'm thinking like I don't know what do you think Logan an hour hour and a half yeah probably long. yeah they published in it everyone seems to have ideas about their character yeah. and then the actual character creation process is like two clicks yeah so yeah um, I think it's the, just bonds is the other big thing to figure out. Yeah. Uh, the most fun thing. <laughs> the that, most fun. That really seems like it'll be more of a group conversation than anything, yeah. too. Yeah. yeah. Which I, is exciting. I'm so excited to come up with random stories for all of the bonds. Like, I just <laughs> want to know about everybody else. And, like, I don't, I love the bond system in Dungeon World. I really do. I it's pretty it's cool. So cool. And I think I'm going to introduce a bit systems like the bonds are already bonds but then for like instincts and traits i might have you pick like two and two or so and then you get a mark xp if they mess you up but oh. so like bits light bits light bits light throw a little bit of your burning wheel into your dungeon world a little a little bit of bits a little <laughs> bit more bits yeah a little bit more burning in that dungeon <laughs> yeah <laughs> Dungeon wheel. Dungeon wheel. <laughs> Burning dungeon wheel world. That sounds like a book. <sighs> well, yeah, so it does. We'll be... Like a really bad one. We'll, we'll be, be back, back tomorrow and we'll have a plus one. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Mysterious we plus one. Ooh. Taking uh, our group of four to five. <laughs> um, yeah, I think it'll be really fun. And Trinket's eating my pasta, so we gotta go. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> and, well, and then next week we'll have our first episode of Dungeon World. Yeah, that's true. Well, Correct. So we're, the plan official... is to just alternate week by weekly episodes of each campaign. So they'll mm -hmm. still be Wednesdays. We'll just stream every Wednesday, um, alternating. So yeah, yep. should be a good time. 
Um, so until tomorrow, we'll see you guys then, and have a good night. Bye-bye.